Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. And it is honestly over with for Watchtower. Uh, you have to understand that when I first started to look at videos on YouTube, uh, I didn't immediately start looking at videos when I started to wake up. I was on uh, websites, uh, Catholic websites, Baptist websites, basically trying to witness to people because, you know, I was working so much that I couldn't go door to door. So I would just try to do it online. And I ran into people who were former Jehovah's Witnesses uh, on some of those websites. And then eventually, onto YouTube. And you got to understand that when I started watching XJW videos on YouTube, there were there were there were a handful of people doing them where I could name them all. Like it seemed like us in the XJW community back in the day, we all knew who all the people were that did videos. We all watched them, we would talk about the videos and now, fast forward to today, there, there's, there's more people doing videos than there are. You can't watch them all. We, know, we don't know who all the people are doing videos anymore. What I'm saying is it has gotten progressively worse for Watchtower. There was a time, this is before COVID, of course, when people were still going to uh, Jehovah's Witness meetings, that, you know, there would be people that would be outside of the assembly with signs, uh, or maybe outside of a meeting with signs, or something like that. Well, that progressed that progressed into people going inside of the kingdom hall and crashing the meeting. Whether you agree with it or not, things progressed, things escalated, things got worse for Watchtower. In every direction possible, Things have progressed and have gotten worse for Watchtower. Then you have a pandemic and Watchtower has to shut down the 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 door to door work and how they're going to explain that. It's over with for Watchtower. It was over with years ago for Watchtower. The membership was 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 low. Come on now, they're selling Kingdom Halls and, and condensing. It doesn't take rocket science to realize that you don't have enough people to fill these Kingdom Halls. They're not bringing in enough money, so they might as well sell the halls and condense the congregations, which is what they started to do. This is before COVID. This is before they pretty much shut down all the activities that Jehovah's Witnesses were accustomed to, to doing. And it's, it's just been the perfect storm. It's been the perfect storm with uh, people on YouTube. I mean, now you got people making whole careers out of doing YouTube talking about Watchtower, talking about Jehovah's Witnesses, essentially, you know, waking people up. And even if you got YouTubers that are like trying to be nice about it, there's still XJW videos. Things have started here as far as former Jehovah's Witnesses and us trying to wake people up and it has progressed and progressed and progressed and progressed until now you got countless people doing 
YouTube videos. You got the videos coming from different places. There's a guy from Africa doing the videos. Uh, come on now. You got not just primarily white people or even primarily older white people uh, doing videos. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But now you got white, you got black, <laughs> You got somebody from Africa. You it is progressively progressively getting worse. Watchtower's membership has not gotten any better, right? It's it's only been stagnant for the most part. So Watchtower's here. Watchtower remains here. The Ex Jehovah's Witness community keeps going up and up and up and up and up and they're up here. And what Watchtower's got to understand is it will never stop. It'll never stop. Talking about Jehovah's Witnesses on YouTube making the XJW videos is a, a job for some people. The, what do you call it? Uh, activism. The activism that's gotten more and more aggressive to the point where people are approaching carts. People are going inside kingdom halls and crashing them. Memorial time. Oh man. If they have memorials at halls, you just, you got to have somebody crash them and put it on YouTube. It's, 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 this is never going. What, what you got to understand is Watchtower's membership is not going up. It's staying the same. But ex Jehovah's Witness activism is only going up and it continues to go up. There is men doing that XJW videos. There is women doing the XJW videos. There's all different races now. There's all different races. I, I just watched a guy's video and uh, he was talking about how all the people who gave their life to Watchtower, uh, obeying their no blood clause, uh, pretty much gave up their whole life for Watchtower teachings. And how would all those kids feel that died for Watchtower, knowing that Jehovah's Witness nowadays are trying to stay safe in their homes, <laughs> staying away from COVID, right? You got people that died... They, he, the video was good. He made a really good video. But the thing is, is this is a new guy I'd never seen before. And I'm realizing more and more and more people are popping up. And this is not going to stop. XJW activism and membership apparently is just going up. Whereas Jehovah's Witness membership can't go anywhere but down because this is a religion that preaches the end of the world is around the corner. They can only keep preaching that for so long. I mean, that's a that's a, a message with an expiration date. You can't just into the year 3000 be preaching that the end of the world is around the corner. I don't see Watchtower's uh, membership skyrocketing. I mean, even if they go online, what Watchtower's got to understand is if they sell off all the halls and just go online as an online religion, the activism is not going to stop. I'm talking about it's a whole career for people to make these videos. A whole career. Their job, like... And more and more and more people popping. It's never going to stop. So whether Watchtower decides to sell the halls and not use the halls uh, or use the halls, those halls are going to be half empty or primarily filled with older elderly people. And the XJW community is just not going to stop. It's never going to stop. I don't think the XJW community will stop even after Watchtower's dead. Like, let's say Watchtower completely dies out. We'll probably still be doing XJW stuff.
comment down below. I mean, let me know what you think, but it's over with. Watchtower's membership is stagnant. It's going down. It's been the perfect storm of this is before COVID. Watchtower having to sell halls all over the place, uh, selling buildings, selling everything. Uh, the membership is down. And then on top of that, you have COVID. And on top of that, you have the XJW community just getting more and more and more active. Jehovah's Witnesses, follow me here. Jehovah's Witnesses ain't been in no hall in a year. It's been a year. You think Watchtower would lay low? No. XJWs are still on top of any and every court case that Watchtower is involved in. The XJW community is more involved with Watchtower than the Jehovah's Witnesses are. That's not good for Watchtower. We're more interested in Watchtower than Watchtower's own members are. Now, I know it's going to get dark here, uh, and I'm going to go and grab something to eat, and it's going to be my victory meal, because Watchtower is done. It's done. I'm talking, there's no, there's no way to rebound from this. There's no way Watchtower can stop the XJW community from doing more and more and more and more activism. Hey, they haven't been to a Keenum Hall in a year. And you think all the activism, the videos, all that stuff would die down? No. The video, there's, there's more now than there were before. Meaning it will never stop. There's nothing Watchtower can do to stop it. The podcast, the videos, the online groups. It's unreal. There is no other religion that has a group of activists as active as we do. I mean, Watchtower's got a group of activists going against it that's more active than any other religion I'm aware of. I, I mean, we are active. We are through the roof active. We do more videos than Watchtower can even do broadcasts. Like, we, we are more active than Watchtower is. It's unreal. So I just enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that you can get on YouTube. YouTube is major. Who does not watch YouTube? And you just type in the word Jehovah's Witness and you got our endless videos. Seemingly not just endless videos, but endless people making them. There is no stop to that. If 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 <laughs> Watchtower is having meetings trying to figure all this out, there is no stopping that. There is no solution. There is no solution to that. So you guys let me know what you think. I mean, comment down below. Uh, I'm about to this is probably going to be my last video for the day was busy with the safari. I'm worn out, but I'm just realizing that it, it Watchtower is going to end up dying completely and the XJW community is still going to be making videos about Watchtower. It will never stop. And if Watchtower does start opening up meetings, then on top of the videos that they have to worry about, then you're going to have activism excuse me, you're going to have activism on top of the videos. 
There's no way. There's there's nothing Watchtower can do to run from it. If Watchtower makes a video, uh, let's say a theocratic video of some sort, one of us is going to do a video breaking down that video. There's there's no there's just there's no Watchtower stuck. They can't do nothing. Watchtower print a magazine. One of us is going to be breaking down the magazine. I mean, they, they, they've got somebody, Watchtower has got somebody following them around, pointing the finger at them, screaming, these people are false. How, how can a religion survive with people following them around, pointing the finger, yelling, these people are false? You tell me, I don't even know what Watchtower can do. Watchtower can keep the brain dead membership that they have uh, because you are always going to have people that aren't that intelligent. I mean, there's people that are scammers and they just their whole career is based off of just scamming people that aren't that bright. But so though that that. I would say uh, that group of people, Watchtower will always have them. But as far as ever becoming mainstream, no, Watchtower will never become mainstream. Watchtower will never even become what the Mormons are. Watchtower's stuck where they are. They're done. Watchtower's done. It's getting dark. You guys can't see me anyway. And I'm about to have me a victory meal because I, there is just this vast. You you guys remember back in the day when they were talking about this vast apostate army? You remember that? Now, there's probably like an official group. But back in the day, I just envisioned it as just being everybody. There's just a big group of people that left Watchtower. That saying is more true today than it was back then. There is just a vast group of people that are waking up and, and, and are getting active against Watchtower. I mean, it's like, what does Watchtower do? Because we're never going to stop. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what you think. But this is a dead religion, not just because, hey, the membership has died off. No, that hadn't completely happened yet. But it's a dead religion because its naysayers are louder and more active than their membership is. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. X-Walker Beth Light signing out.